All right, guys, what is up? And today I'm coming at you with a really, really awesome opening for you today. And as you can see, I got a booster box of Metal Raiders, the second set to actually come out for Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, I was actually looking to buy one of these boxes for quite some time now, just because it was the first pack I actually opened as a kid, so I have a lot of nostalgic memories with opening these packs. Uh, of course, buying an English one is going to be significantly more expensive. I haven't seen any Spanish ones, so I actually got a European Unlimited Edition box, so that's kind of cool. And I've heard like the European cards are like printed a little bit differently. Um, but yeah, it still has the plastic wrapping on the box kind of got smashed up in shipping. Uh, but yeah, you can see he's got some really cool cards on like Summon Skull, Barrel Dragon, uh, Black Skull Dragon, nothing on the bottom. Uh, but a quick fun fact about this set is that it's actually the first set that introduced uh, counter trap cards. Like Horn of Heaven, I think was one of them, Magic Jammer, Seven Tools of the Bandit, Solemn Judgment, a few others. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and open it, and this should be a little bit easier to open since it's got holes on the side. And I think this, yeah, this is a 24-pack box, because I know sometimes uh, a couple of these older boxes, they would have 24-pack boxes, and they would have 36-pack boxes. And I'm not sure if it has both of the Seekers in the set, uh, Thousand Dragon and Gate Guardian, because I know on the, English, on the American boxes... Uh, the secret is like a uh, thousand dragon you can only get in like retail packs from like Walmart and Target and stuff And then gate guarding you can only get from packs from like hobby shops, but now they changed that So I'm not sure if I have a chance of getting a gate guardian, but getting a thousand dragon would still be pretty cool uh, They can see it has the second Konami logo versus the original one where it has the uh, The weird little squares on them kind of looks like the Microsoft logo uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this amazing box. Yeah, I'm kind of bummed that the box got smashed in shipping, but I'm just going to display it as is. Uh, apologize if I'm shaking a little bit. I'm just really excited to actually open this. Uh, so yeah, just to make sure... Twelve... All packs on that side. These packs feel really weird. Like they're a lot older and a lot lighter. Hopefully these aren't fake, but because I know I've seen in the past people have opened fake Legend of Blue Eyes boxes. Uh, but so far these packs look pretty legit. Uh, if they are fake, uh, just contact the seller and let them know. But yeah, without further ado, let us go ahead and get started with our first pack. Let's see what's on there. I normally they have like the upper deck logo on these packs, but I'm not seeing it. Let's see. Hmm. Oh wait, I'm thinking of something else. I'm thinking uh, upper deck's the one that manufactured the packs for the U.S., but I'm not sure who manufactured them for the European boxes. But let's see. Before we actually take the cards out, I've got to check something really quick. Yep, has that old Yu-Gi-Oh card smell. It's one thing you gotta do whenever you buy these old packs. You gotta inhale the smell of old cards from years gone by, back whenever we played cards as kids. Oh, this pack doesn't want to open all the way. I'm trying to keep some of these packs in good condition, just I like saving old packs. So we have one of my favorite cards of the set, sort of deep seated. Just really, really like the artwork, and plus it had a neat effect. Yeah, these uh, European cards. You can see they're a lot darker and they're a lot glossier, like the OCG cards. Water harmonics, censored artwork. Because if you don't know the original artwork for this, she was actually completely naked, so they, of course, had to cover that up because this is a children's card game. Roaring Ocean Snake, got a big eye. And Witch of Light Forest, really good rare. Cybersaurus, Yadokaru, Musician King. Actually, had one of these as a kid in Spanish. Found it at a flea market. And Insect Soldier of the Sky, so pretty good rare. Back in the day, this was a really, really awesome card, but of course now it's banned for obvious reasons. One being the Yada Lock. Let's see, next pack. This one feels a little bit heavier, so it could be a foil. Let's see. I can open these without destroying the packs too much. Just kind of a nice, slow, casual box opening. Uh, might have to do two separate clips. Of course, I can edit them together as one full video, but camera battery's kind of looking kind of risky. Let's see. It's doing the same thing again. Gotta peel the back off. Let's see. 
Let's see, we have Doma, the Angel of Silence, Hunter Spider, Empress Judge, Tongyo, it's a weird looking card. Dark Elf, another rare. Ooh, Seven Colored Fish, that was a really great card back in the day because it was a four star monster with 1800 attack that had no drawbacks. You could just easily summon this and start beating down your opponent. And then, of course, later on they came out with, uh, what is it? Uh, mechanical Chaser in the tournament packs. Uh, that, of course, had 1,850 attack, which is what made the card extremely valuable. And plus, it was the only Ultra in the set. It was like one in every 118 tournament packs would you get the Ultra Rare. And then, of course, later on they came out with cards like Spear Dragon, which could do piercing, but went to defense during the end of the turn, things like that. Later on, just had more monsters with good attack, just some drawbacks. And then eventually, Gemini Elf. Which was an extremely expensive card back in the day. So next we have Mega Thunderball, Morphinin, Gazelle the King of Mythical Beast, Kaminari Attack, Milus Radiant. Always thought this card looked weird. Ooh, Launcher Spider. Remember a lot of people liked that card back in the day just because everybody liked watching Zoids and Power Rangers and plus giant robots are cool. Guilt to the D Knight, Cocoon Revolution, and Trent the Tree. Yeah, these just old cards really do smell like over here behind the camera. I can just I'm constantly getting whiffs of just old cards. See so next we have Destroyer Golem, Bottom Dweller, Deep Sea Shark. I remember playing him in an old shark deck I built uh, a couple years back, just as a fun deck. You would instant fuse them and use them to rank rank fives. Ancient Elf and Tribute to the Doomed, a nice super rare. Paralyzing Potion, Germ Infection, Genzo number 7, one of the old monsters that can just attack your opponent's life points directly, and Skull Knight. Remember, liked having this card as a kid. Just because he looked cool. Yeah, Tribute to the Doom was awesome back in the day, just because you could easily discard one random card from hand and destroy a monster on the field, so it would get rid of those really, really big monsters like Blue Eyes, White Dragon, or any of the other four star beaters I mentioned. That if you had trouble with them, you could just play Tribute to the Doom and easily get rid of them. See, we have Tremendous Fire, Protector of the Throne, Blackland Fire Dragon, always study looked neat, Hibiki Mei, and Cannon Soldier. That's a cool rare. We have Blue Wing Crown, Lady of Faith, Lava Battle Guard, and Nibatori, the card that let you cross the desert in the virtual reality saga of the anime. Let's see, this set had a lot of really cool effect monsters, and that's only pulled for rare so far as effect monsters. And something else the set had that was a first, even though it was only the second of the set. It was the first one to introduce common effect monsters, whereas in Legend of Blue Eyes, they were all rares and higher. We have Mushroom Man number two, Hiosube, Disc Magician, Ancient Lizard Warrior, Starboy for a rare. Kind of misprinted the names, slightly shifted to the left, but doesn't really change the value too much, but still kind of cool to have. Cheerful Coffin, now we got Swamp Battle Guard, it's kind of cool. Illusionist Faceless Mage, and Dragon Piper. There we go. Don't want to mess the cards up. Have Electric Lizard, Hail Beast, the Unhappy Maiden. She does look really unhappy. Koji Kosi, Princess of Sarugi. Really glad to pull this card. This was actually my first card as a kid. Uh, pulled it from a pack. And I still have it to this day, so it's kind of nostalgic. Oguchi. This monster may attack your opponent's life points directly with a whopping 300. Then we have Mystic Horseman, Battle Steer, and Jellyfish. It's just a jellyfish. See, you know, I was thinking, I think it's these two that you fuse to make a uh, rabid horseman. Could be wrong. But I know that card's in this set as a common. See, so we have Wing Dragon Guarding the Fortress number one. Harpy Lady, the uncensored version, you can probably see that. Kind of cool. Also, one of my favorite decks. We have a Bistro Butcher, Armored Lizard. Ooh, and an Ultra Rare Magic Jammer. That looks really, really sick. We have Soggy the Dark Clown, Castle Dark Illusions with that awkward attack and defense. Baby Dragon's kind of cool. And King of Yumimakai, another nostalgic card for me as a kid, because I actually had one of these, and I still have it. But it was a fake card, because 
there's a fast food restaurant down here where I live. Uh, some of you people might be familiar with it, but it's called Dairy Queen. And uh, they had a vending machine there where you could put in 50 cents and you would get a Yu-Gi-Oh card. And on display, of course, it had all the cool cards like the Winged Dragon of Ra, Dark Magician, Blue Eyes, things like that. And you think, oh man, I'm going to get an Egyptian God card or a Dark Magician for only 50 cents. And then, of course, all the cards in there were fake and actually ended up getting like three or four cards out of there trying to get the Winged Dragon of Ra. And actually pulled this guy, and as a kid I could tell it was fake because like the text was really like weird and the font was messed up. All the borders around, even the backs were really, really dark. So yeah, that's another story for this box. So I'm probably going to end up going through a bunch of those. Just telling you different stories about cards I pulled as a kid from this set just because I love it so much and have so many memories with it. We have Larva Moth. Feral Imp, Rock Ogre Grota number one, Crawling Dragon, Magician of Faith, another good rare. You have Tainted Wisdom, Ancient Brain, Legul, and Jirai Gumo. Now, Magician of Faith was good back in the day just because it was a light monster, so you could use it to summon Cast Emperor Dragon, Black Luster Soldier, Envoy Beginning, or a. Oh, I can open like I wanted to. Uh, any of the big Chaos monsters, and plus you could flip it and get a spell back from your graveyard. So you have Ring of Magnetism, another neat card that has a kid. Killer Needle, kind of cool. Big Eye, Steel Scorpion, Hoshin Ningen. Prevent Rat, another card I played back in the day. Just because I really thought it was kind of a good card because I had 4 stars and 2,000 defense and your opponent really would have trouble getting over 2,000 defense back in the day. We have Pump King, the King of Ghosts, the Little Swordsman of Ale, and Labyrinth Tank, another cool card from the anime a lot of people enjoyed seeing in the duel with uh, Joey and Yugi versus the Paradox Brothers. Of course, that duel made absolutely no sense compared to the actual card game rules. We have the Immortal of Thunder, Ground Attacker Burgroth, Dome of the Angel of Silence, Water Modix, and Mask of Darkness, another good card. Uh, it's basically a dark counterpart of Magician of Faith, except for it adds back traps whenever it's flipped. Crash Clown, Guardian of the Labyrinth, Rabbit Horseman, and Guilt of the D-Knight. I always never understood why Rabbit Horseman, if you can see, it has this red X over his head. Oh yeah, it does take Battle Ox instead of Battle Steer. This pack feels like it might have a foil. Packs are going everywhere. I have Armored Zombie, Oki Beam, Share the Pain, Petite Moth, and Kazajin. Kind of cool to get one of the gate guardian pieces out of the pack so you know all we need is great moth to have like the complete chain because we have this larva moth and cocoon of evolution now mystic life i remember this card when i was playing the sacred cards for game boy advance because if you guys have ever played that game you know it doesn't exactly follow the rules of the actual card game uh but instead of having its actual effect where it can attack your opponent directly you could summon it and easily special summon a uh legend the mystical genie the lamp out of your deck which was pretty good because it had really high attack Musician King, Gigatech Wolf, and Punished Eagle. Now onto the left side of the box. Hopefully the camera doesn't die on me. Nope. Stay out of camera pack. We have Roaring Ocean Snake, Bottom Dweller, Thunder Dragon. I remember playing that in my Chicken Race FDK deck. Deep Sea Shark and Shadow Ghoul. And then Dream Con, I remember some people playing that card back in the day. And a bunch of like really weird decks. Just because if you could get his effect off, it was alright. So I have Ancient Elf. This was another card I got out of the Dairy Queen vending machine that was a fake card. Flash Juggler, Kaminari Attack, and Mass Sorcerer. Another 7 colored fish. Trent and Blue Wing Crown. Let's see, next pack. It'll open. So we have Stim Pack. Morphinin, Leo Gun, Destroyer Golem, and Great Moth. So we do have the whole complete Great Moth chain, I guess. Cybersaurus, Lady of Faith, Neotori, and German Infection. 
Let me see something really quick. Yeah, all the rares we pulled so far are effect monsters. That's kind of weird. Kind of cool at the same time. Hopefully we can get a sand game so we can have both of the old searcher monsters that are now banned that whenever they got destroyed, you could easily search any monster from your deck. I'm pretty sure sand game came in this set. Yeah, Protector of the Throne, Blackland Fire Dragon, Electric Lizard, Hibikime. Ooh, and a Sang of the Thunder. That's really cool. So we have two of the Gate Guardian pieces. Lava Battle Guard, Skull Knight, and Paralyzing Potion. So all we need is a Suijin. And I already have a full set of uh, Metal Raiders Gate Guardian pieces, but my Suijin and Kazujin are both from the uh, Legendary Collection packs because like their background's a lot brighter. So it's kind of cool to actually have the ones you actually pull from the pack. Uh, the original packs, actually. So we have Empress Judge, Disc Magician, Pale Beast, Hunter Spider, White Magical Hat, Yado Kairu, Rabbit Horseman, Mystic Horseman, and King of Yumilakai. And let's see. Hyosube, Tongyo, Ancient Lizard Warrior, Armored Zombie. Oh, sick! Gate Guardian Seeker Rare from the actual pack. Dang, that is freaking awesome. If we can get a sewage in, this would just be like an amazing Metal Raiders box. And we have Castle Dark Illusions, Jellyfish, Illusionist Faceless Mage, and Dragon Piper. So I was right, you can get a uh, Gate Guardian from this. So let's see, we have an Ultra, three Supers. Uh, we may get another Super and an Ultra from this pack. Because like the cool thing about these older boxes is that you're not guaranteed Seeker Rares. Because there's only two in the set. But nowadays, you're actually guaranteed one, so it's really, really awesome. We have Crawling Dragon, Koji Kosi, Harpy Lady, Larva Moth, Sand Gain. So we do have both of the old Searcher Monsters. And Soul Release, it's a cool card. We have Killer Needle, Armor Lizard, Block Attack, Rock Ogre Grotto. Oh, Harpy Lady Sisters, that's another cool super rare. I remember getting one of those as a kid and wanting to make a Harpy Lady deck. But of course you couldn't really do that back in the day because you only had Harpy Lady, Egotist, and of course the Sisters, so you just kind of had to work with what you got. And then eventually in uh, Rise of Destiny they released more cards and then later on they got their structure deck and of course now they're an actual deck. Wing Dragon Guard the Fortress number one, Feral Imp, Blast Juggler, Leo Gun, and Elegant Egotist. So our first non-effect monster rare, and we can actually summon the Harpy Lady Sisters now. Now the Prevent Rare, that's kind of cool. So we have three packs left. So hopefully we can get at least one more foil out of these packs. We have Occubeam, Steel Scorpion, Petite Moth, Ground Attacker Bugroth. Oh, we got a fake card. It's a joke, obviously, but it's called Fake Trap. Ancient Brain, Tainted Wisdom, Pumpkin, the King of Ghosts, and Flame Cerberus. So either we get, if I'm correct, we either get an Ultra and a Secret, or two Ultras and no Secret. But I could be wrong. And cool. Pulled a Mirror Force out of there. And we have another Sword of Deep Seated, Water Amotics, Roaring Ocean Snake. Got a big eye and dark elf. All right, so now our last pack. Can we end this awesome nostalgic box with a hollow? Be cool if we did. We have Dome of the Angel of Silence, Hunter Spider, Empress Judge. Looks like a foil. Tongyo and ooh, a Heavy Storm. That's another good super rare. Really good back in the day, but. Got banned only a few years ago just because you could drop and easily eliminate your opponent's back row. So yeah, overall, this was a really, really cool box. Just being able to actually open one of the first sets of Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, granted, it's not the English one. It's still a box of Metal Razor, which is pretty cool. Uh, but just for a quick recap. Uh, for our supers, we got Sangha, the Thunder, and Kazujin. Harpy Lady Sisters, Heavy Storm, 
Tribute to the Doomed. For Ultra, we got Magic Jammer, and our Seeker is a Gate Guardian. I just noticed Sang of the Thunder had like a piece of extra paper on the edge, but I guess it fell off. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this really awesome box opening video. Uh, I know I really enjoyed it, just because it was really awesome to open a box of Metal Raiders. One of my favorite sets of all time. Oh, the camera. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and as always, I will catch you guys later.